on the Fox News Channel, the question about whether America would get involved in the situation in Syria may have taken a turn at this point, as we have found out that inside that country, sarin gas, a chemical weapon, has been mixed, which means it can be used if they weaponize it, load it up, put it in planes, and drop it as bombs onto their own people. If that were to happen, we know from our own government, from our Secretary of State and from President Obama, that is a red line for this country to get involved along with NATO. Let's bring back by phone Jennifer Griffin. Jennifer, we've been talking kind of pointedly about it, Syria itself, a little bit about Turkey. I want to talk with you now about Lebanon, because they've seen some of the fighting in Syria spill over. But what you have inside Lebanon is Hezbollah. You have potentially, potentially for some of our enemies to get involved in this situation. Tell me what that might look like. Well, we, Harris, what we know is that Hezbollah has already uh, has had training camps inside Syria and has been receiving its help from Iran through Syria. So there is a nexus and an easy pathway between Lebanon, Hezbollah, uh, Syria, the regime in Syria, and Iran. Now, it's our understanding that even the Iranians... Uh, are not in favor of the Assad regime using these chemical weapons. So this is, this is something that is really almost unthinkable that a regime would weaponize, uh, sarin gas and would, would, would appear to be making preparations to use, uh, those weapons. Um, that is what has people concerned in Washington tonight. Mm -hmm. It is a red line, as you said, but there is very little that the U.S can do to stop the Assad regime because if, uh, as we mentioned, this sarin gas, it, once it is mixed, it has to be used within a certain number of days, within 60 days. So it, this puts the Obama administration in a very difficult position. It puts NATO in a very difficult position. Uh, is there something preemptive that it must do in order to prevent the Assad regime from mm -hmm. using these weapons, is there any warning or emissary that can be sent to tell them that this is a red line and it should not be done? Excellent question about moving preemptively, because the red line would mean that basically people would have to die, Jennifer, in order for that line to be crossed. So then you ask, can something be done to keep that from happening? Real quickly, al-Qaeda and other militants sometimes will move in and seed ground when these conflicts are happening. Well, I think that what we've been seeing in Syria, and because the situation has been festering in Syria for such a long time, you have seen various factions taking advantage of the anarchy. Certainly there are concerns, and there has been some evidence that, that al-Qaeda-linked uh, groups have, have tried to operate within Syria. But then there's Hezbollah, there are other known terror groups, and then, of course, Iran. Absolutely. It's breaking wide open tonight on the Fox Report. Jennifer Griffin, thank you for being with us by phone. I'm Harris Faulkner in tonight for Shepard Smith. We are learning U.S. forces could soon be headed to the Syrian border. Their mission, part of NATO's plan to put Patriot missiles at the line between Turkey and Syria. Those Patriots are designed to intercept any potential missiles coming from Syria. And defense officials say any country that sends its equipment is likely to send their own troops to operate it. We're told no one has signed deployment orders officially just yet, but it's almost certain at this hour U.S. troops will be on the move. There's absolutely no indication our fighting men and women would cross into Syrian territory. But the Pentagon has told the Obama administration it would require more than 75,000 soldiers to secure Syria's chemical weapons stockpiles. It's impossible to say exactly how much that would cost. But the price tag for that sort of operation could easily run into the billions of dollars. Now, again, there's no indication at all that such an operation will happen anytime soon. All this coming just days after President Obama warned the Syrian regime of consequences if it turns chemical weapons on its own citizens. And today, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton saying the world has made that perfectly clear to President Bashar al-Assad. We have sent a... Uh, an unmistakable message that uh, this would cross a red line and those responsible would be held to account. Activists saying at least 40,000 people have died in the anti-government uprising that began last year. And now evidence the bloodshed is again seeping across another border into Lebanon. Gunmen loyal to the Syrian regime and rebels fought it out on the streets in the northern part of that country. Dozens reported dead in two days of fighting there. Similar clashes have erupted more than a dozen times before in Lebanon. More violence and death that we can trace back to the actions of one man. And today, a new warning 
from the head of the United Nations that President Assad probably should not expect any mercy from his counterparts around the world.